हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगत पते गोपेश गोपी कांत राधे गुरु आनंद भगवान की जय जय हरे कृष्णा अभिमान हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा सोहम एंड शिवम कृष्णा कृष्णा रीना जी ओ हाय मेरे हाउ आर यू गुड आई एम टू हैव यू गुड गुड नाइस टू सी यू Right, so we were reading Srimad Bhagavatam. We have been reading Srimad Bhagavatam, Adhyat twelve, uh, Adhyat seventeen. Uh, we are at Shlok twelve, and uh, in this chapter, we see how Maharaj Parikshit uh, is getting uh, Kali, and we saw the conversation going on um, between uh, Maharaj Parikshit and uh, Dharma. and him maharaj parikshit sees that the dharm is being hit by the shudra and shudra in this case is basically you know people who have no respect for animals uh people who have no respect for religion and that is what being projected as a shudra and maharaj parikshit he reaches uh, at the saraswati river and he sees that you know this person is hitting the cow and the bull and the bull in the form of religion <clears throat> so Maharaj Parikshit then of course warned this person, and then he is also talking to um, uh, to the dharm, right? The boat. So, ko avrikshat hai tapadam istrina sorubhe chatushpade ma bhuvam istva drisha rastre ragyam Krishna nu vartinam. So, huh? He, Maharaj Parikshit, repeatedly addressed and questioned the bull. Thus, O son of Sudhi, who has a cut of your three legs, in the state of the kings who are the ob- obedient to the laws of the supreme personality of Godhead, Krishna, there is no one as a, as a, no unhappy as you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, right? So Maharaj Parikshit is talking to now the bull. Which is none other than religion, like who has done this to you? Mukesh, akya hi vrish bradam va sadhu na makrit gasam atm vairupya karta ram partha nam kirti dushnam. O bull, you are the offenseless and thoroughly honest. therefore i wish all good to you please tell me of the perpetrator <coughs> perpetrator of these mutilations which blacken the reputation of the sons of pratha hari krishna hari krishna yeah so maharaj parikshit puch rahe hain bull ko ki who has done right who has done this uh, mutilations uh, and which has blackened the reputation of sons of pratha who is pratha Pritha is Arjun, right? So Pritha is Kunti. Right? Kunti, oh. 
Rita's son is Arjun, and of course, then Arjun's son, Abhimanyu, and Maharaj Parikshit, of course, after that, right? So, grand, 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 grand mom of Maharaj Parikshit. But that's a reputation, Pandu Putra, right? So, who has done this to the bull and who has likened the reputation of the sons of uh, Prita? Anilji? Jiya. Jane Nagas Sagam. Yujjana sarvotasya cha madhvayam sadhu nam bhadra meva syad sad damne krite. Whoever causes offenseless living beings to suffer must fear me anywhere and everywhere in the world. By curbing dishonest miscreants, one automatically benefits the offenseless. Hare Krishna. Right. So he's a king, right? So he's saying anyone who is doing the wrongdoing. He should be afraid of me. It doesn't matter where he is. Yeah. Ravi. Anaga sviha bhute shuya akas kannin nankushaha ahar tasmi kujam shakshad marta syapi sangadam. An upstart living being who con commits offense by torturing those who are offense offenseless shall be directly uprooted by me, even though uh, he is he be a denizen of he heaven with armor and decorations. Hare Krishna. Right. Denizen of heaven. Right? He's saying like Saksha Damar Ter Shapi Sangram is like even demigods or even people who are living in heaven, they should be scared of me. That's what Maharaj Parikshit is saying. So anyone who is acting against the religion should be, um, you know, should be directly uprooted by me. I should be able to take care of them even if they are living in heaven. Yeah, that's, uh, <clears throat> I think uh, maybe let's just read the first paragraph. Uh, Shivam, do you want to read? The denizens of the heavenly kingdom are called Amara or deathless due to their possessing long span of life far, far greater than that of the human beings. For a human being who only has one ma a maximum of 100 year duration of life, a span of life spreading over millions of years is certainly considered to be deathless. For example, the Bhagavad Gita, we learn that on the Brahmalok planet, the duration of one day is calculated to be 4.3 million times 1,000 solar years. Okay. Rinaji, uh, uh, is Rinaji, good to do that. She's there. She wants to read. Mitu is Rinaji. not here. <laughs> oh, she left. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. You can read. Yeah. She's having lunch. Oh, okay. Okay, sorry. Similarly, in other heavenly planets, one day is calculated to be six months of this planet, and the inhabitants get a life of ten million of their years. Therefore, in all higher planets, since the span of life is far greater than that of, of the human being, the denizens are called deathless by imagination, although actually no one within the material universe is deathless. Hare Krishna. Right. So there are a few, few things here. That's why I wanted to read this paragraph, right? One is actually no one within the material universe is deathless, right? Even people in Bekunt is what you're saying, right? Even you want to each other again. So they will have a bigger life span, far greater than the human being. But still, when the annihilation happens, everybody goes back to uh, Nidra, right? In in, Guru, uh, in Lord Krishna's abode. Uh, the other thing is we already know, right? 4.3 billion solar years in one Brahma's day. So 8 point, uh, 8.6 you know, um, day and night. But the important thing, what I'm trying to remember right now is, you know, at once we had read that in Kali Yuga, the age of the people is uh, 100 years. We were talking about, right? Average expected age used to be uh, before Kali Yuga, which is the Yuga, uh, which Yuga comes uh, before Kali Yuga, Dwapar or Treta? It's Treta. No. Dwapar Yuga. Dwapar was first. Kali Yuga was first. 
right mm -hmm. right so kalyug is the last then dwapar and dwapar the age of the human being is expected to be 10000 years 1000 years okay right? so 100 in kalyug 1000 in dwapar yug remember i think we covered it somewhere mm -hmm. and then before dwapar yug which yug is there treta treta yug yeah and treta yug the age of a human being is what 10000 right 10000 years expected age of treta yug used to be 10000 years and then satyug satyug is the highest in satyug the age of is was great average 100000 expected uh, 100000 years so actually we can see from satyug to treta yug to dwapar yug to kalyug Right, the age of the people have been reduced to hundred, and you know, of course, it's even being reduced further. Right, pretty much as we see, but that's the expected age. So what it's saying is, so in the background, which is above those, you guys, right, and above this planet, uh, you know, the age is pretty much like ten millions of their years, right, kind of, and even the stars, the higher planets, is like much bigger, like. like much higher like we don't need to go into the actual numbers but that's the spiritual science yeah and here what maharaj parichu is saying is like you want denizens of heaven should be scared of me if they are acting against the religion yeah सुप्रीम ड्यूटी ऑफ द रूलिंग किंग इज टू गिव ऑल प्रोडक्शन टू लॉ अवॉइडिंग पर्सन and to chastise those who stray from the ordinances of the scriptures in ordinary times when there is no emergency hari krishna hari krishna is taking what is the real dharma of a king sachin dharma uvacha etadavah pandave yana yukta mata marta bhayam vachah पांडवा फिलोसफर्स Hey Krishna, right? So religion is now saying that, which is bull, right? Now he's answering to Maharaj Parikshit. Maharaj Parikshit says that, uh, you know, it's it's none in the in the form of bull, but the dharma itself. So dharma is now saying that, and uh, and Maharaj Parikshit is asking that, right, who has done this to you, right? And dharma is now saying that it's very difficult to ascertain who has done this. Where are the three legs? Has gone, and who did that? because there are so many theoretical philosophers who have their own philosophy right and they have caused real big suffering in the world and yeah i like have seen ultimate cause of all causes is the supreme lord the personality of godhead sarva karan karanam and then all these so called speculative philosophers you know they don't recognize that and they have their own philosophy about the nature and everything else Ravi 
केचित विकल्प सना आहुत मान मानन देव मनय परे कर्म स्वभाव परे प्रभु Some of the philosopher who deny all sorts of duality clear declare that one's own self is responsible for his personal happiness and distress. Others say that the superhuman powers are responsible, while yet others says that activity is responsible. And the gross materialist maintain that nature is the ultimate cause. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Right. So all these different philosophies. Um, and um, you know it gives some explanation about like the atheistic um and sachin do you want to read this second paragraph yes um atheistic materialistic sankhets sankhets conclude that material nature is the cause of all causes according to them combinations of material elements are the causes of material happiness and distress and disintegration of matter is the cause of freedom from all material pangs gautama and kanada find the atomic combination is the cause of everything and impersonal impersonalists like ashtavakra discover that the spiritual effulgence of brahman is the cause of all causes but in the bhagavad gita the lord himself declares that he is the source of impersonal brahman and therefore he the personality of god it is the ultimate cause of all causes it is also confirmed in brahman samhita that lord krishna is the ultimate cause of all causes hari krishna hari krishna right so we read brahma samhita right how clearly it was explained who is sarva karan karanam is lord krishna lord krishna himself is the source of the also impersonal brahma right some people will think that right, you stop at the brahma but who is the source of brahma right yeah. so there is a super soul and then supreme lord the personality of uh, god had and lot of people will believe in bhagavad gita right they will believe in bhagavad gita but they want recognize lord shri krishna right so they but if you believe in bhagavad gita it's very clearly mentioned in bhagavad gita that i am the lord right the lord himself is saying that i am the lord but they don't want to recognize that but they want to recognize the bhagavad gita so but here it's very clear that lord krishna is the Ultimate cause of all causes, but here Dharm is saying that you know all these different philosophers are giving all these different philosophies. Um, yeah, Anil ji. Ji ja. Apratar kriyade nirdesh yaditi keshwapi nischaya ha atran rupam rajarushe bimrash samanishaya. there are also some thinkers who believe that no one can ascertain the cause of distress by argumentation nor know it by imagination nor express it by words o sage amongst kings judge for yourself by thinking over all this with your own intelligence hari krishna hari krishna so who is saying this o sage among the kings judge for yourself Who is who is saying this? The dharma, right? Right. Yeah, dharma is saying and saying to whom? Parikshit. Parikshit. Maharaj Parikshit. Right. So he replying to Maharaj Parikshit and he is explaining all that and then he is saying, hey, you are Rajasri, right? Rajasri. So you are the sage among the kings. You got to judge for yourself by thinking or all this. and you can conclude you know who is doing who has done this to the to the dharm mukesh sut vaj evam dharme pravdati sa samvag dvij satmah समाहितेन मनसा पिकेधा परचस्त तमा सूत गोस्वामी सेड ओ बेस्ट अमंग द ब्राह्मण्स द एम्परर परीक्षित द हियरिंग द पर्सनालिटी ऑफ रिलीजन स्पीक वाज फुली सेटिस्फाइड एंड विदाउट मिस्टेक और रिग्रेट ही गिव हिज रिप्लाई हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण सो सूत गोस्वामी सेइंग ओ बेस्ट अमंग द ब्राह्मण्स हु आर द बेस्ट अमंग द ब्राह्मण्स 
Parikshit Maharaj. No, Sut Goswami is talking to whom? Oh, best among the brothers. Oh, he's talking to those rishis. Those rishis. Right, right? all the rishis, yeah. heading by Sonat Muni at Nemi Saranya. Mm -hmm. He's saying that. So after hearing from Dharma, Parikshit Maharaj, he started to giving his reply. Right? Yeah. Sachin? Rajo Vach, Dharman Bravishi, Dharmadnya, Dharmosi, Vrusha Rupa, Druk, Yada Dharmat Dharmakrut, Kutaha, Sthanam, Sucha Kasyapi, Tadvavet, Tadvavet. The king said, O oh, you who are in the form of a bull, you know the truth of religion, and you are speaking according to the principle that the destination intended for the perpetrator of irreligious acts is also intended for one who identifies the perpetrator. You are no other than the personality of religion. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, right? So Maharaj Parikshit was thinking that and now he is concluding that hey, you are no other than the dharma. Anilji? Atva Dev Mayaya Noonam Gati Ragochara Chetaso Bachas Chapi Bhuta Namiti Nishchayaha. Thus, it is concluded that the Lord's energies are inconceivable. No one can estimate them by mental speculation or by word jugglery. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Right? So, our, our mental stuff is limited. Yeah. So, and so this doubtfulness was due to the contamination of both Kali and material energy. The whole atmosphere of the age of Kali is magnified by the deluding energy and the proportion of measurement is inexplicable. Yeah. So it's beyond our mental speculation. I think we have to believe in what Srimad Bhagavatam and all the scriptures are uh, mentioning here. Hey, Tarun. Tapsa socha daya satimiti pada krute kata ad marcho sestra yo bhagna sumasya sang radang game de tasya. In the age of satya, truthfulness, your four legs were established by the four principles of austerity, cleanliness, mercy, and truthfulness. But it appears that three of your legs are broken due to rampant religion, the form of pride, lust for women, and intoxication. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Right. So how the the Kaliyuga just starting, you know, it had the four legs, right? Tapah, uh, Shocham, Daya, Satya. Right. Look, Pada have four legs, and then how those I mean, three have been broken. So. Um, and Varitsura, you know, what he's saying is the preaching of the Bhagavatam principles will automatically render all men austere, clean both inside and outside, merciful to the suffering and truthful in their daily behavior. So that is the beauty of Srimad Bhagavatam. Uh, we have four minutes only, so I think we are going to pause here. And, um, and thanks for voting <laughs> on... Uh, you know, we should continue or we should take a break for the holidays. Uh, I think, you know, there's a mixed feeling here. Uh, but uh, let's take a break for holidays. I think that's what uh, uh, we concluded uh, is that let's take a break for holidays. So it's, today is 22nd December. And then we'll get back together again on January 4th. I think January 4th is Monday. Uh, that's correct. Yeah. So we'll get together on January 4th. Uh, meanwhile, you know, on 20, uh, meanwhile, you know, start your chanting. You know, we do the chanting round, so don't leave that. <laughs> uh, you can continue chanting uh, your rounds. Uh, maybe you can pick up uh, on whatever Srimad Bhagavatam, any purports you want to read, uh, and, you know, any other studies you want to do. So definitely, you know, and gear up for that. And we'll probably complete the first canto very soon, you know, as we, once we start. In Jan, and then we'll go from there. Okay, 25th December is Gita Jayanti. Uh, so
So I don't know if anyone is interested, like, do you want to read the complete Gita? It may take three to four hours. Uh, so, uh, you know what, if you're interested, just post it on that. I think if you are like five, six or seven people, we can continuously read only the narration, like only the translation, sorry. So we'll read only the translation, not slow, but just the English translation, we can continue reading it in a day. It will take around three to four hours. But if you are interested, just post it on the group. We'll see how many people are there, and then we'll, we'll see if you want to do it. Yeah? Is that, is that also Vaikun Ekadashi on that day? It's also the Christmas day. day. Yes, it's also Ekadashi on that day, Friday. Oh, sorry, oh, 25th is what is it, Thursday? I'm not sure. Uh, what it's day? Friday. Friday. Yeah, Friday. It's Friday. Friday. Yeah. So post on that. If you want to do that, we'll spend three to four hours. <laughs> Uh, but we'll read uh, one, one, like, we'll just decide the order before and so we'll continuously read. Uh, should be done in like three hours or three and a half hours. What time it will be here? In the evening, we'll keep it in the evening, like maybe seven to ten. I mean, we can keep any time if you have, but evening is generally fine. Six to nine. So just the time also, whatever works. You know, we'll see if it works. Yeah. So that will be a good reading of the Gita. It's Gita Jayanti, right? Everyone knows that. 25th December is the Gita Jayanti also. So that's the. We will do that through. Sorry, we'll do that through same Zoom meeting. Same Zoom, like I will scroll through. Everyone, one by one, will keep reading, and I can invite more people also if we have like in the group. If we agree, we can invite more people too. So then everyone can just continuously. We'll give a number to everyone, and then just keep reading in that order. Good. Yeah. So post it on our voting group or any group and then we'll go from there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll do the kirtan for one minute and then enjoy your holidays. Happy holidays and happy new year. <laughs> we'll see you on January 4th. Okay. Thank you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.